In the 55 years since King's assassination, we've seen him turned into a national holiday and a monument in a thousand streets in America. And I felt like we'd lost sight of him as a human being. I felt like we'd forgotten that he struggled, that he had doubts, that he had failures. And I wanted to remind people that he was human because, you know, we can't expect anyone to step up and be a hero if they ought to be perfect. King wasn't perfect, but he was a perfectly extraordinary man. I was nervous about undertaking a book about King, and I could only really summon the confidence to do it because I knew people like Jesse Jackson and Andrew Young and Harry Belafonte thought it was a good idea and were happy to help me, and that gave me a lot more confidence. People knew King. They knew him really well. They spent time with him, and I wanted to know what it was like to be around King, and I wanted to be able to share that with people today who you know, think of him as almost ancient history, but you know, he would only be 94 today if he were still alive. I think anytime you take on a biography, it's an awesome responsibility. But with Martin Luther King, the stakes were even higher because he's so important to our country's history and we're still grappling with some of the things he warned us that we would be grappling about if we didn't pay attention. So I felt like this book matters to us today so much just in, in what's going on around us. And, and that gave me an extra sense of responsibility as I began this project.